While the illicit trade in items of cultural property from archaeological sites in Africa and elsewhere must be eradicated, the cause of promoting awareness of both the damage that this trade is causing to the patrimony of the state concerned and the importance of these works cannot be served by hiding them from an interested and possibly influential international audience. This process of publication allied, as is our intention, with an extensive educational program must accompany the implement implementation of national as well as international legislation for the profile and effectiveness of such measures to be maximized. This is a quote, I don't know if it makes sense, but it doesn't. <laughs> I quoted this issue quite extensively um, this issue that was released by the Royal Academy because no paraphrasing would have fairly depicted the extent of how museums through various conceptualizations will defend the possessions of looted artifacts even when they know it's wrong <laughs> it's just wrong the British Museum illeg illegitimate custodian of hundreds of bronzes Muted from other land during the 1897 punitive expedition, punitive being rooted from punishment, has adopted a similar rhetoric to the Royal Academy. This is the pompous conviction that looted artifacts from other land should be displayed and kept in foreign countries as to attract an influential international audience. An audience that has better opportunity of viewing displays, displaced worked objects in European cities like Milan, London, Paris or Berlin rather than in Lagos, Dakar, Cape Town and Accra. What does um, shared heritage mean? The word share, the verb sharing invokes in the spirit. Anyone who ever wants to start. Quali categorie utilizza il museo per definirsi che sono categorie che anche tu che hanno attraversato il tuo discorso, cioè possesso, accentramento, esposizione, conservazione, di nuovo proprietà. E queste categorie che definiscono e profilano l'istituzione museale sono in netto contrasto con le possibilità della parola condivisione, che è stare insieme, che è rapporto paritario orizzontale, che è empatia, che è ascolto, che è dialogo, che è risocializzare il proprio privilegio. Sono due, sono due dimensioni che ad ora non credo possano eh, intrecciarsi. So the word community can actually have the meaning we want it to have in a certain circumstance, but it's not universally so, you know. Um, but I think that, um, so also sharing, it can mean, you know, some really beautiful things, but in the context of um, looted objects, that word means something completely different. Um, it talks about positions of power, but I think that in terms of, um, for me, thinking about sharing in, in relation to stolen objects, um, it makes me think a lot about how, how much sharing then becomes on property. It becomes about really anchored in this idea of ownership, right? And for me, when we think about these objects and other things as parts of heritage and not just objects, um, what does it mean to think of heritage as property? And then what does ownership look like if you start thinking of it that way? Is that really the only thing that we want? Um, is it? <laughs> question mark. And so it's like, yeah, sharing is important. Community is important. Diversity is important. But like, that shouldn't be the only, 
thing that we get or something. It's like that's almost like a vehicle to someplace. So it's like, where are we going? What do we want when we get there? And it also sucks that these words that like mean a lot to us, mean a lot to me, have been robbed of their meaning. It almost makes me feel like I have to be much more political in my language because by saying I want community with someone, um, they won't give me what I want, you know? Um, they won't give me the tools to be able to build a community. Um, so it's like those words just don't mean anything anymore. I can't use them. Materiale. Infatti noi siamo qui soprattutto per ascoltare in primis, però anche per come dire, metabolizzare le cose che, che stanno emergendo adesso e pensare anche come è possibile fare poi un passo in avanti che sia proattivo. Il museo nasce capito, come istituzione imperiale e imperialistica, poi ha una fase con la rivoluzione francese di come dire, condivisione, diventa un museo pubblico, però al tempo stesso è ovvio che il museo come dire, nasconde per mostrare, quindi già di per sé è un luogo paradossale. Se vogliamo tutti uh, arrivare ad un punto che possa portare a qualcosa, dobbiamo come dire, positivamente cercare di fare un vuoto uh, come dire, metaforico, e quindi veramente creare e dare spazio e pensare in che modo possiamo avere uno spazio di dialogo.